Okay. Um, another report that uh, I think that that report came out uh, wasn't it last week uh, about um, this report definitely is pointing and accuse on a Nigerian military army. I think Nigerian military armies have responded. Uh, I was so bad that a lot of this, I mean, they are running a secret mass abortion programs. I mean, I don't understand. Military running an abortion programs? How can a military be running an abortion programs? Is that their jobs? Is that what they should be doing? I mean, abortion should be performed by either the the hospital, the doctors, recommended doctors and approved doctors. I mean, I know sometimes militaries have uh, uh, mini uh, medical personnel as well. I mean, they, that's not their job. But this, this, this is a very shocking report. And I heard that uh, our militaries have rep they've responded back that, look, that report is fake. That uh, the 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 news the new report that uh, brought that report I think was Reuter. Um, this you know Reuter is an international news agency and they accused the Nigerian military uh, of running uh, programs where they are carrying out forceful uh, abortions, uh, which are carried out a lot of the female uh, victims uh of Bakus, uh B B Boko Harams and all those Islamist taking in Western African uh, province. So what they are saying that those um, uh, victims that has been captured, uh, I'm not sure whether they've been released. And when they have been captured, a lot of them have been a lot of them have been this woman. Which is which is which is one of the things this government completely failed. I mean it's some of them have been raped. It's, it's, it's quite a, sh a shocking. This, this is one of the news that even the military should not be. The military should be protecting the life of these people. Even if they know they are, they are pregnant, they should be referred to the appropriate medical practitioners recommended by the government. So I can't really believe how this, those victims have been. They have already been the victims in the, in the lion den of, of Boko Haram's. They've been raped, they've been, they've been tormented, they've been molested. They, they, they are, their women's uh, rights have been, have been toxicated. Ton, uh, uh, they, they, they've, they've gone into a lot of tr psychological as well as physiological uh, um, uh, uh, trauma as, uh, and deficiency as well. And now, because of that, military that's supposed to be doing what is right, a report says they are doing a secret and forceful abortions on those victims, that's those female victims. I'm not sure whether this report is true, but we don't expect our military to be doing this. I mean, we know what our militaries are capable of. We know they, 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 they've been fighting this military uh, back home, uh, this, this, this uh, Boko Haram's insurgency. We know they have been doing what they can uh, this, because they, this, these are internal, internal security threats that is currently affecting the country. But why would they be accused or engaged in carrying out an abortion against a victims of this insurgent? So this is one of the things they need to investigate. And we heard that uh, they've at least, uh, they said the abortions without pers uh, uh, person's concept, uh, consent, and at least 10,000 pregnancies are being legally terminated. 10,000, even later, I mean, most have been having a reg regular secret uh, information from these victims. 10,000 pregnancies have been illegal, illegally terminated. And this, this, this was contained in an investigation that was published. And I think that report came out last week, Wednesday. And, they, and, they've, and Reta said, look, they carry out an account on, on at least 33 uh, victims, uh, hospital staff as well, as well as security officials as well. 
and they have a proper document uh, uh, based on these investigations. So this, this, this is one of the most important, this is one of the things that the, uh, the government need to look into. Uh, it's a shocking and it's a alarming situations. And uh, I don't think um, uh, any government should be allowing this, especially uh, when we know that the jobs of, of a military is to protect the life of the citizens of Nigerians. Their job is not to carry out an abortions. And uh, if that investigation is true, that means that, uh, um, that means that uh, our military has gone into different wrong directions. So this is one of the things that they need to investigate. That's, that's one of the things, as I say. And they also said that reports that say guide and health, uh, health workers uh, are saying that women who, who, who resisted uh, from being aborted, they were being beaten. They, sometimes they caned them, even they held them at the gunpoint. And this, I had this, they also dragged them into compliance. So this is a very alarming situation our government needs to look into. And the investigation told us they also said they linked that program so they believe widely within the military and some civilians in the northern part. That's where the abortions was carried out, northern part. I mean, there's a lot of atrocity that always coming from the northern part of Nigerians. I'm not saying that no atrocity does not carry out, but when you talk of the biggest atrocity, you see a lot of these atrocities are done in another part of Nigeria. They just need to put them, their, their head together and do what is needful for their, for, for their citizens. You know, children of insurgents has been what? They have been predetermined by the blood of their veins to one day take up arms because they believe that a lot of these children, when they grow up, when they know that if if they are being born from 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 being from from a victims of captives insurgent, a lot of them will grow up and they might decide to take arms against the Nigerian government. So that is the reason why they believe they have to carry out their, their abortion. So, and we had the militaries; they've completely denied the allegations, and uh, they deny this. Uh, they call it infantile uh, infancy. Uh, allegations and they have definitely they was they have to look into it they have to publish their own report they are they don't need to definitely yes they can completely con condemn it uh, but they still need to investigate uh, they still need to investigate because they we had that in total it two thousand uh, Boko Haram uh, fighters and families have been surrendered to operations uh, handy kite troops. That's the troops that's in charge. And out of these numbers, they also say 16,553 were active male fighters and 24,446 were women. That's a lot of people that has been captured. And where, what is, where do we have this, this, this inactive president? allowing this, this atrocity to, 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 to be carried out in the life of Nigerians. Every life of Nigerians deserves to, deserve, deserve to, be, to, to, be, to, 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 to be nourished. And they say 4,000 of them are children. This is, this is completely an alarming situation. Even the Bono state government, we say, is camping, and they are accommodating them family by families, because a lot of these uh, children, uh, girls and, and boys, predominantly, yes, that's where the camps of uh, Boko Haram is, which is in Bono. And some of them have completely separated the children from their, from their parents. So they say in total, 262 babies were born within four months. This is a lot. Uh, so, 
government need to look into 